the grace of endless waiting time. Website, Radiantly Happy, at blogspot.com. Dearest friends, merely waiting for a major collective change and transition is wasted energy and time of hope with blinders on our eyes. If we look back at the hundreds of thousands of years of our vast history, or even longer, we realize that none of the presumed enlightened cultures persisted. None! Not even Lemuria and not Atlantis. Why? Because they existed in a reality that only changes. And so we do. Now we could stop, to change our disposition and ask for the teaching. We could now just step back to look at the big picture, the whole scenario, and not merely at this moment of a few hundred years, or just the last twenty years, to truly understand our present situation. And we will find out, that there have been always long periods of war here and in the skies, after relative short periods of peace. And in case there was not an actual war, it was at least latent for a time. But what are a few hundred or even a thousand years compared to the long history of the cosmos? War has always been an issue, even in peaceful times, because the other side of peace is war. As long as our consciousness is busy within the duality of light and dark, there is necessarily struggle between the two of them. Peace tries to prevent war, and war tries to prevent peace. Visiting the future, Alman, called the greatest mystic and seer of our time saw the coming dark ages and the destructuring of humanity and a flawed golden age. If we take the truth of change serious, we notice the never-ending positive, plus, and negative, minus, movement of a sinus wave, one after the other. The positive curve naturally transiting into the negative and the negative transiting into the positive. Same with the yin and yang principle. There was never ever a time of constant positivity, never, and even the predicted golden age is supposed to last a limited time of only 1000 years, not to mention what Alman said about it. What? Only thousand years, my heart cries out. Is there anybody crying with me? What I get is that most people seem to think that the golden age will last forever or they seem to be content with these few years of some relief, alternative technologies, no wars, some love, yes, some happiness, but all soon to disappear again, because it is still duality land. Dear friends, did you ever ponder about this? How many times would you reincarnate in these short thousand years? Perhaps ten times? And thereafter? Ah, yes, we are going back to the planets we came from. We are going to higher and more subtle realms and dimensions. Besides that this must be earned and that there is a reason why we are here, even the subtle realms are in constant movement. In the great wisdom teachings of ancient India about the gods it is said, that their joy and celebrations in the heavens, after the time of a few hundred or thousands of years, according to their karma, crumbles away, their flowers die, and overwhelmed by grief, depression and loneliness they are to take a body again in the lower realms. This all is born from the deep-rooted notion of duality. And duality exists, as long as we identify with a separate body-mind. Duality is not transcended by desiring and then living on a higher plane of existence with floating cities, colors, music and some ethereal love and light. Yes, there is evolution, but it must be evolution that transcends the separate, brain-based consciousness into the one field of divine source consciousness. Evolution of merely the body-mind is but another limitation and is part of duality or separation. As we are now waiting for another positive, but short time sinus wave, it will never appear because others come to save us, but ultimately because of the law of constant change, which is mostly brought about by cosmic and planetary forces or cataclysms, as history has revealed. There is nothing that will save us, while we are beings, deeply ingrained and identified with the idea of duality. Because mortality is inherent in duality. Therefore we must decide to go through a process of transcending duality. We become what we are focused on. If we are deluded in the belief to be eternally deadless beings of truth, while helplessly bound, attached to and identified with the movements of seemingly eternal change, 
we are not allowed to survive as such separate entities. But because we are in truth eternal beings beyond or prior to change in duality, there is the grace of divine intervention in this endless waiting time. We got this imperfect condition, to make sure we don't forget to return to what we are, because ultimately we desire nothing less than our true divine nature, which is beyond change, suffering and limited identification with the body-mind, gross or subtle. Each pain, each disappointment is pointing to the distortion and seeming loss of our inherent divinity that needs to be healed. We came into this universe as beings of radiant consciousness, participating in or being one with the source condition. Then we step down to experience in seeming separation all the possibilities of creations of the one light, that is many aspects, including the dark, that is still an expression of light, just on a very dense vibrational level, and on the lowest level, with almost the extinction of light. To return to what we are, the pure and unstained frequency of unconditional love has been created. It is the graceful means that allows to reunite with perfect divine light and absolute consciousness, our native state. But as long as we hold on to this small picture of ourselves, a grave limitation to disguise divine reality and unconditional love, we will not find the perfection our heart is yearning for. Bound to duality and opposition is to be deprived of our true happiness and thereby true divine nature. As above, so below. As long as we put up merely with warm and cold, big and small, good and bad, light and dark, peace and war, we support the wars here and in the skies between the light forces and the dark forces. This will go on forever, as this is simply the nature of the reality in which a part of our multidimensional nature seeks for experiences. Captured by the visions of duality, we are deeply impressed by the seeming grandiosity of our creations until we become really tired of them. Even tired of again and again temporary arising hopes and temporary regained vigor and self-enforced enthusiasm to seek in the realms of change for perfect peace, and until we come to the conclusion that there is no real way out of the seemingly eternal dilemma, after so many trials to ride again and again the light of the positive sinus wave, with exaggeratedly hopeful joy, a compensation for the fear it might end soon again, who arrived at this point, is facing deep depression and hopelessness. But it is actually a good thing. Because it tells us beloved, you are stuck, because you are on your wrong path. It is an OT here where you really want to go. Remember? Your heart desires to go home, your true home, that is not of any dimension or planet. It is your native state of radiant divine consciousness, eternal love and bliss. It is neither found in this nor in other dimensions. It is not found somewhere else. Like the proverbial woman who seeks desperately her pearl necklace in every corner of her house, while she forgot she had it always around her neck. We do not need anything but to do the happy, although hard work, and develop a relationship with our own deepest core condition, by acknowledging and letting go of everything that is in between false beliefs that persist as stuck energies in our mental, emotional and spiritual bodies, blocking the downpouring of the blessed and powerful divine current of what we always have been, when we enter this universe. In this way we transcend all our experiences and knowledge that we have accumulated during our journey, to be awake again as the one that does not know separation, but is in love with all creations, including the apparition of duality, recognizing all as part of the divine light and consciousness that we are. This is the only breaking free from all limitations, dead ends, hopeless depressions. It is the gift of our frustrating endless waiting time for betterment and change, if we are being willing to recognize the teaching. According to the great sages, everything that changes is untrue. Only that which does not change is truth. So we need to realize that our long waiting time for change is just a normal occurrence that is inherent in the realms of duality. How could it be otherwise? And so, no complaint and no desperation about it is based on reality, but rather on illusion. We are merely dealing with cosmic laws we have chosen to experience. We must give up useless and unrealistic hopes and become real and true to ourselves in our choices, to accept the experiences within duality as they are.
or to transcend the situation by entering the ecstatic ultimate path of self-transcendence to return to our divine origin. The choice is entirely up to each one of us, if we use our self-authority and higher free will. None of this is easy. But let happiness be your guide. Many blessings on the path of your choice. With love, Yute.